Hello, my name is Don. I will be leading you through this short agri-stability tutorial on the Livestock Inventory Worksheet, Schedule 3. If you'd like, you can go online at this address and follow along in the Supplementary Forms Guide for 2017. Since this video is a little larger, we're going to split it into two parts. The first part is tips on how to fill out your Schedule 3. Today, we are going to concentrate on the second part, that is completing the Livestock Inventory Worksheet. This is what your 2017 Livestock Inventory Worksheet looks like. Remember, you do not need to enter information into the green shaded areas. Using the information from our tips video, this is the Livestock Inventory information that Farmer Joe came up with for 2017. Remember, when filling out your 2017 Livestock Inventory Worksheet, your 2016 ending numbers must match your 2017 starting numbers. Let's get started. Here is the information on breeding bulls for the year. He had three breeding bulls at the start. He sold one, purchased one, leaving three at the end of the year. When we are done with a row, we'll put in a check mark so we know that row is completed. Now, from the information Joe has given us on cows, we will start entering the cow line. There is 120 bred cows at the start of the year. Nine bred heifers were transferred into the cow line in 2017. Twelve open cows were transferred out to call cows during the year, and one died in 2017. Leaving 116 bred cows at the end of the year. And that completes the bred cow line. Joe had 12 open cows during the year that he transferred to the call cow line. All 12 call cows were sold during the year. And that completes the call cow line. Now let's look at the home raised calves. Joe started with none. 108 were born. Five heifer calves were transferred. Two replacement heifers during the year. 91 sold at an average of 520 pounds. Six died during the year, leaving six calves at about 600 pounds at the end of the year. And that completes the home raised calves row. Now we'll continue entering the replacement heifers not bred row. Joe had 10 at the start of the year at about 600 pounds on average. We already entered the 5 transferred in from calves. Now we enter the 9 transferred out to bred heifers. 1 sold during the year at 1,000 pounds. This leaves five replacement heifers at the end of the year, averaging about 600 pounds. And that is it for the replacement heifer row. Now entering the bred heifers, Joe had nine bred heifers at the start of 2017. We had already entered the nine transferred in from replacement heifers. Now we enter the nine transferred out to cows. This leaves nine bred heifers at the end of the year. And the bred heifers row is now complete as well. Now, looking at the purchased calves that Joe has, there is 14 at the start, averaging 600 pounds. He sold 14 during the year at an average of 900 pounds. Joe purchased 10 at an average of 550 pounds each. Joe transferred in the 20 share calves he has. This makes the ending inventory for Joe of purchase calves for 30 at the end, averaging 600 pounds. Now let's enter Joe's calf share. Joe's calf share from the 30 cows is 20 calves, so we put the 20 calves into bursts. With the shared calves, you have the option of just putting them directly into ending inventory on this line and adding the weight, or you can go like we did and move them up into the purchase calf line, mainly because they were the same weight at the end of the year. 
Now, just to check our work so far, we'll check to see if the transfers in equals the transfers out. The transfers in and the transfers out both equal 55, so we know we have done the transfers correctly. Now that we know the transfers in and transfers out are done correctly, we can check our rows going across using this formula. Starting inventory plus births plus purchased minus sales minus deaths plus transfers in minus transfers out equals ending inventory. All that's left to do now is to enter in the custom feeding. Joe custom fed 60 beef feeders for 180 days. So over here in the complete if you custom feed box, we enter beef feeders. Number of animals custom fed is 60. And the amount of custom fed days per animal is 180. If you have any questions on filling out your Schedule 3, please do not hesitate to give us a call at 1-877-899-2372. We'd also like to remind you, in order to help you track your inventory, we have an inventory record book available at any of our branch offices. We hope you found what you needed to know in that tutorial, and we welcome you to go back and take any of the other tutorials on filling out your supplemental forms.